All right, we're moving on to external devices now. External devices refer to things that control MIDI. And MIDI is basically um, signals or messages that get sent to the computer that can control Studio One. So that sounds complicated, but basically all it is for us is having keyboards that we can use, like little pianos, to control Studio One. You may have seen videos of people playing these, or you might have seen videos where people use other devices that have little pads on them that they hit with their fingers. These are MIDI devices that control Studio One and control your instruments, but in order to make that work, you have to set them up in here. So I have one sitting in front of me right now, a gigantic MIDI controller called an MPK-88 by a company called Akai. And it's like a full-size piano, basically, in terms of how wide it is, 88 keys. And these kind of keyboards can range anywhere from what I just described down to tiny little things that are easy to carry around with you and use with your laptop. And really, that's what I'd recommend if you're starting out, is to use one of these small little MIDI controllers, MIDI keyboard controllers, because it will actually make your life easier when it comes to composing music. It's not essential to have one, but if you do have one, you may find some benefits from that. Now, if you don't have uh, uh, an external device, any kind of MIDI device, then don't even worry about this. But if you do, let's quickly go through how we set that up. So first, make sure that you've plugged your MIDI controller in and you've downloaded any drivers that you need um, to make it run. Now, usually on a Mac, you don't need to download drivers, but on a PC, you might. So if your keyboard came with any software, you could install that. If not, you could search the name of your keyboard in Google and then driver. So for me, I might search MPK88 driver. And then you could download that if it exists, and if not, it probably will just work as it is. So once that's set up, you can come in here and click Add. This is the dialog box for adding a new MIDI device. So if you see your um, company that makes the keyboard listed on the side here, like I see a Kai, and then I see down here MPK 49 slash 61 slash 88, and that's the one I'm using, I'd click this. It's not essential though. It's totally fine to just use um, a generic one. So I'm gonna do that for now. So we'll pretend that mine is not on this list in case yours is not. And we're gonna go new keyboard. We come over here and we just fill in the information. I'm gonna write Akai and the device name is the MPK88. And you can just write in whatever you want there. It doesn't actually matter. It's just for you to know which one it is. And then below here, we're not gonna talk about this. It's fine just to leave it as it is. All you need to know is receive from, and you're gonna select your keyboard in here. For me, my keyboard has three ports. I'm gonna click port one, Akai MPK 88 port one. So I click that and that's set up. We can leave this as it is. We can leave this as it is. The last thing I'm gonna put here is that it may be good to set this as your default instrument input so that whenever you create a new instrument, it's already set up with your keyboard ready to go. And that's all there is to it. Push OK, and then once we get into our session, um, it should start working properly. So in the last video for this preferences pane, we're going to get into the advanced tab.